What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. There is no tomorrow! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at actors we've lost, but who will always stay with us no matter how much time passes. We've structured this list based on cultural impact, though every one of these stars has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. Matthew Perry. To the millions of fans who adored him, he'll always be known as Chandler Bing. I'm Chandler, I make jokes when I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Perry had worked steadily in guest roles on television since 1979, some of which include notable appearances on Growing Pains and Silver Spoons. But it wasn't until 1994 when he joined the cast of Friends that Perry's career took off like a rocket. Even 20 years after the show went off the air, people are still watching him crack sarcastic jokes and making everyone laugh. What do you think you're doing? L leaving my troubles behind? <laughs> With his most notable work frequently on the minds of fans, he's a comedian whose talents we're happy to see still floating around on the interwebs. Paper! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman. Some actors stand out because of the films they were a part of. Others just ooze star power regardless of their gigs. This isn't a game to me. This isn't playtime. This is serious business. The late Philip Seymour Hoffman was an unconventional example of both of these. For many years, Hoffman opted to pursue notable supporting acting roles in films like Patch Adams, Scent of a Woman, and The Talented Mr. Ripley. You're a quick study, aren't you? The last time you didn't know your ass from your elbow, now you're giving me directions. When he did step into a lead role, his work was incredibly powerful and memorable. The book I'm writing will return him to the realm of humanity. This is the book I was always meant to write. He won a Best Actor Academy Award for his portrayal of Truman Capote in 2005's Capote, and received three subsequent nominations for Best Supporting Actor after that. Oscar or no, his love for eccentric characters cemented him into the hearts and memories of many. I mean, you saw what I did to your little blonde friend at the factory, right? Well, that was nothing. That was um, fun. Chris Farley. Watch your language in front of the lady, punk! The art of comedy is a tough one to master, especially when it can be so subjective, which is why Chris Farley merits all the praise. My name is Matt Foley. And I am a motivational speaker. Known for his outlandish and energetic style of comedy, Farley found a way to make anything funny through his over-the-top delivery. First off, I am 35 years old, I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. Whether it was shouting out his sage advice as Matt Foley on SNL, or trying to sell brake pads in Tommy Boy, Farley made everyone, including his castmates, break out in hysterical laughter. I'll turn this damn bus around. That'll end your precious little field trip pretty damn quick, huh? Despite having passed away in 1997, his touch on humor has had a lasting effect on the world of funny. Next stop is St. Louis, and he's gonna come back through Chicago on his way to Detroit. Chadwick Boseman. His career may not have been as lengthy as some of the others on this list, but the mark he left on film will be felt for years to come. You going down? Murder too. That ain't right. I can't help it if somebody took my bike. Chadwick Boseman started working in television back in 2003, appearing in the likes of ER, Law and & Order, and Castle. So I have Brenda's watch here. She wants me to make her husband disappear. That's a felony. I can't do that. But I can make the watch disappear. Give it up. <laughs> With powerful acting and assiduous perseverance, he was steadily working his way up the Hollywood ladder. However, it was his appearance as the titular character in Black Panther of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that cemented him in film history. We let the fear of our discovery stop us from doing what is right. No more. Through T'Challa, Bozeman gave cinema its first real true black superhero and had a major hand in helping change the landscape of diversity in film forever. My daddy wasn't spooked up by the white man, no sir. And that taught me how to handle them. Alan Rickman. Depending on your particular interest in film, the name Alan Rickman may bring to mind a vastly different set of characters. You know my name, but who are you? 
just another American who saw too many movies as a child. Action fans know him from his memorable role as Hans Gruber in Die Hard. Fantasy aficionados remember him fondly as Snape from the Harry Potter films. Which one of you can tell me the difference between an animagus and a werewolf? No one. How disappointing. And even comedy fans loved his turn as Dr. Lazarus from Galaxy Quest and Metatron in Dogma. Rickman was a traditionally trained English actor who spent much of his early years in theater performing various Shakespeare roles. To see him take his craft from stage to screen was a delight for all fans of cinema. Well, the prophets finally live up to their titles. With his deep voice and impeccable delivery, Rickman's legacy lives on in perpetuity through his work and our memory of him. You dare use my own spells against me, Potter? Yes, I'm the half-blood prince. Gene Wilder. Audiences today might only know Gene Wilder from the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but Wilder's career was so much more than that. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. As a longtime collaborator of both Mel Brooks and Richard Pryor, Wilder found success in some of the most memorable comedy films of his time. Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Silver Streak, and Stir Crazy were just some of the massive successes this multi-talented actor brought to life. Give! Give him a Sega give! Oh! Jim! Jim! Sega Jim! Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is still a childhood favorite among many to this day. And as much as we like Timothy Chalamet's interpretation, few will ever compare to the enthusiasm and charisma of Gene Wilder. Fantastic invention. Revolutionized the industry. You can suck them and suck them and suck them, and they'll never get any smaller. Never. Betty White. At 99 years old, Betty White was still giving audiences the chuckles. And we have no doubt they would have continued if she had made it to her 100th birthday. Of course, the only crime in St. Olaf was that more people didn't practice better oral hygiene. <laughs> Her long career spanned multiple memorable television shows like The Golden Girls and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. After appearing in 2009's The Proposal, as well as everybody's favorite Snickers commercial... Come on, man, you've been riding me all day! Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there! That's not what your girlfriend said! White experienced a resurgence in her career, bringing her to the small screen yet again with Hot in Cleveland. You girls have to figure out some way to get money! Oh, bless you, Elka. To think of me in this time of need... <laughs> For me, you idiot! I'm in freaking jail! Fans loved her for being real and never being afraid to make fun of herself or her age. A staple of Hollywood for seven decades, Betty White wasn't just an actress, she was a force to be reckoned with. The older you get, the better you get. Unless you're a banana. <laughs> Carrie Fisher. She was the author of Postcards from the Edge. She gave Jay and Silent Bob a ride on their intrepid journey to Hollywood. Thank God you picked this up. Well, do unto others, that's what the book says. She even appeared on an episode of The Big Bang Theory. It's not funny anymore, James! <laughs> Despite all of her countless roles in film and television, Carrie Fisher will always be remembered as Luke's twin sister Leia from the Star Wars franchise. A little short for a stormtrooper. And much like her princess slash general persona, Fisher herself wasn't afraid to be real and push boundaries. If I don't make it back, you're the only hope for the Alliance. Luke, don't talk that way. You have a power I, I don't understand. Never one to shy away from uncomfortable topics or conversations, Fisher left a legacy of one of the greatest female protagonists in film, as well as in her real life. Heath Ledger. Many of Heath Ledger's roles are, in one word, unforgettable. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. <laughs> it's... This was a man with the kind of range mountains would be jealous of. He took his craft quite seriously, as he was known to allow gaps of time to pass between projects so that when he did take on a new role, he could put all his creative energy into it. Let me love you, baby. Let me love you. It's likely for this very reason that characters like the Dark Knight's Joker and Ennis from Brokeback Mountain stand out among his many credits. All them things that I don't know could get you killed if I come to know them. His dedication and love for acting make us miss him all the more. You can't rely on anyone these days. You gotta do everything yourself. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Robin Williams We don't think it's an inaccurate statement to call Robin Williams the greatest improvisational comedian of all time. Hello! Ah! There are countless stories of Williams using his skills to take the written word of a script and spin it in a way no one else ever could have. Will you scooch? Oh, move, move over just a little bit. Thank you. Right. Keep on scooching. From his cameo appearance with Billy Crystal on Friends to pretty much every bit of his dialogue in Good Morning Vietnam, no one ever knew exactly what might come out of his mouth. Well, what's the weather like? You got a window? Open it! Thank you, Roosevelt. We'll have to go to someone else for the weather. Every comedian hopes they can get a laugh, but with Robin Williams, it was belly aches from straight up guffaws. Yo, Rockman, haven't seen you in a few millennia. Give me some tassel. Yeah, yo, yo. He gave us so much, but we still would have loved to see more from this legend. Who's an actor that lives in your head rent free? Let us know in the comments below. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The Latin term for that sentiment is carpe diem. <laughs>